a man's perceptions are not bounded by his organs of perceptions a man can perceive a lot more than he can sense it's an amazing quote by Neville Goddard and I've been studying Neville for quite a while and have you ever had those phases or those stages where you're trying to manifest something you're trying to imagine the end but there is something which is missing there's something which is a little bit off and you just can't put your finger on it and you are still struggling and sometimes you can manifest sometimes you can't manifest there's always like a guessing game going on and you're not able to like systematically regularly able to manifest what you want so stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to share some very simple techniques to get this guessing out of the way so that you can manifest consistently and effortlessly and easily. After reading a lot of Neville's teaching, Neville helped me get clear on the process and helped me let go of the resistance which I had. Like I had this resistance, you know, you, even I imagined something, I imagined being somewhere, but when I was in my normal physical world, I still had doubt, I still had some, you know, question marks, and that always kept this feeling of resistance, I wasn't like fully able to accept my imagination, right, and then because of this resistance, I was still struggling, and Neville really helped me clarify and help me go from this place of resistance to this place of acceptance and where my manifestations really uh, went on another level. My name is Rohit and I've been reading about Neville and I've read and I've been visualizing, trying manifesting, I've tried hundreds of things, I've read hundreds of hours of content and write, I've read so many books. And after going through hundreds of trials and errors, finally, I was able to come to a proper, systematic, clear way of to consistently manifesting what I want. And I, I want to share this with others because it gives me immense joy when I see people and when it clicks for people, it's like, uh huh, okay, that's it. That gives me immense joy. So let's get straight into it. And what is the acceptance that Neville is talking about. So I'm just going to read some lines from Neville's book and I've been a huge fan of The Power of Awareness and I've been reading it for quite a while. Uh, there's some really important quote uh, which is not Neville's quote, it's by the very famous poet John Keats and he says, was it a vision or a waking dream? Where is that music? Do I wake or sleep? Do I wake or sleep? Was it a vision or a waking dream? Do I wake or sleep? Now, this, what Neville is trying to bring attention to these words is he's saying when you enter the state of your wish fulfilled, right? you bring in all your senses you bring in all your imagination you know if you if you can just visualize it i would say smell it i would say hear it what are you hearing what are you smelling what are you seeing if you can touch it touch it if you are in the state of wish fulfilled bring in all your senses make it as real as possible and sometimes it happens very quickly and very fast you bring in all your senses and when you actually stop imagining and you come back to this physical world your body's in like a kind of a shock right you're like kind of shocked like you're actually not there where you were imagining right you were not there where you were imagining so your body is in kind of a shock that is when when that happens that is when you know you reached a total sense of acceptance so I would like to read this couple of lines uh, by Neville and really important lines. Right? He says, The windows of heaven may not be opened 
and the treasure seized by a strong will, but they open of themselves and present their treasures as a free gift, a gift that comes when absorption reaches such a degree that it results in a feeling of complete acceptance. I'll read the last line again, very important. A gift that comes when absorption reaches such a degree that it results in a feeling of complete acceptance. So when you're imagining the end, you are so absorbed and you feel that is your reality. You are so absorbed that you have this complete feeling of acceptance. You don't even doubt it, that it's reality. Like you're so absorbed in that imagination. And when you come out of it, your body is kind of, in like kind of a shock that you're actually not there, right? So this is the concept behind it. And this is the state which he, Neville is talking about, the state of acceptance. So I'll give you a very easy and simple example to understand, right? So let's imagine you are going to your favorite restaurant. Just imagine that, okay? So you can close your eyes, take a deep breath, uh, take a deep breath for five and hold for a second and then exhale for five. So let's do it together. Let's take a deep breath, hold, exhale. Take a deep breath again, hold, exhale. Okay, now you're imagining walking towards your favorite restaurant and you look around you look at the colors on the wall is there some kind of design is there some kind of graffiti or text you just look at the text you look at the colors is it in a windy area? Is it in a dry area? Is it in a noisy area? Is it in a quiet area? You imagine those sounds. You're in there, just walking towards your favorite restaurant, and you see the environment. Is the wind blowing? Is it quiet? Is it loud? Is it humid? Is it dry? What kind of weather it is? You're feeling it on your skin. Going towards your favorite restaurant. Okay. You open the door. How does the door feel? How does the handle feel? You go down. You say hello to a familiar person. Maybe you know someone at the restaurant. Maybe you know the waiter. Maybe you know the chef. Maybe you know the person who serves you. Maybe you know the manager. You say hi, hello, exchange greetings, and you sit down. How does the chair feel? How does it feel? Your back against the chair. Is the chair smooth? You lay your hands on the table. How does the table feel? What kind of colors are seen? What kind of smell or smells are you smelling? What is that smell? Smell it. Feel it. See the colors. Okay, and now comes my favorite part. It's the food. One of your favorite dishes is being served to you. When you look at the texture of the food, the smell, the touch, if you can touch the food, or you use a fork and knife, if you use fork and knife, how does it feel? How does the knife feel? How does the fork feel? And then you eat it, the taste of the food. Mmm, that yummy, delicious. How does it feel? How does it smell? What kind of colors, flavors? Bring in all your senses. And snap! We are awake. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and come back to our physical world. Was your body in a little bit of shock when this happened? Was your body in a little bit of shock? If you really imagine, if you brought in all your senses when you came, come, came back to this reality it was like a shock this is how 
well imagine scene is how does it feel so you're imagining you're looking at the color so you're using your visual you're feeling the wind the air you're using your touch sense right and uh, when you walk in you uh, and again you walk in you touch the door your touch sense and you're hearing the sound in the restaurant what kind of noise you're hearing what kind of sounds you're hearing maybe you see a familiar face right maybe you hear something you're bringing in hearing seeing touching and you sit on the seat you smell your food then you taste it so you're bringing in touch so you're bringing in all your senses to this imagined scene okay and when i said snap and when you snapped out of it and when you came to this particular physical reality we are in you your body was in kind of a shock right we all were in kind of a shock right that man you just ruined my experience i was in the middle of my favorite restaurant i was having my favorite dish and this guy rohit just ruined it for me but i wanted you to experience it what he means by acceptance so when you're in that state and when you truly feel that you are 100% in the state that is the state of acceptance you're not in resistance anymore so when you snap back and you come to this physical reality this physical world you can go in and out and when you go to that state being in the restaurant you are completely in there so you have complete acceptance that that is actually reality even though it is imagination it becomes like a memory in your mind right you've already been there you've already tasted that it becomes like a memory in your mind and that is the match and that is acceptance now is talking about so i just wanted to read a few lines before we wrap up so important thing to consider what you have learned in this video is that we bring in all our senses and you imagine and you give it full sense of imagination as it has already happened you bring in all your senses you imagine it as real as it can and when you snap out of it you snap out of it Okay, and when you come back to the physical world, because you were so engrossed in that imagination, you were so absorbed. The right word is absorption. He used the word absorption. I will use the word absorption. That it's a shock to your system. That is what you need to do when you're imagining the end. That is what you need. That should be your goal, right? Sometimes, even if you don't imagine it that well, it it still comes true. You know, sometimes even if you just imagine for a split second, you don't bring in all your senses. it still comes true but to give it the full feeling this is the best way to do it so i just want to read a uh, few lines by nemo okay so he says yeah so just going to read some uh lines by nemo and we'll wrap this video up so nemo says at the end of these periods are moments of absorption you speed from these imaginative states where you have not yet been physical these imaginative states you speed from this imaginative states to where you were physically an instant ago in these periods the imagined state is so real the imagined state is so real that when you return to the objective world and find that it is not the same as the imagined state it is an actual shock you have seen something in imagination with such vividness that you now wonder whether the evidence of your senses can now be believed like heats you ask was it a vision or a waking dream fled is that music do i wake or sleep so by this is meant that instead of your experience resulting from your past it now becomes like the result of being in imagination where you have not yet been physically it becomes the result of being in an imagination where you have not yet been physically in effect this moves you across the bridge of incident to the physical realization of your imagined state I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe and please share it with someone whom you think will find this valuable. Please like this video and uh, 
so that it can reach more people and uh, thank you for watching this video and have an amazing imagination session have your mini imagination sessions and have a fantastic day take care